Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cricketing Eye. Today, we have a very, very special guest with us today, former Indian first class cricketer Ajay Mehra and a famous TV personality as well. He has been presenting cricket, presenting sports for a very long time. We all know Mr. Ajay Mehra. Welcome, Ajay, sir. Welcome to Cricketing Thank Eye. You, How are you doing? All well, all well. How's thing? everything going okay over there? I know it's a bit yeah, yeah. You know, different. Watching, watching the test series between England and West Indies, uh, they've yeah. been very engrossing and uh, just waiting for uh, some of the Indian players to take the field as well, you know, because Australia tour is going to be a big one uh, yeah. end of this year and of course before that the IPL. So just hope that things get better uh, as far as COVID is concerned and uh, we see a lot of creating action. Yeah, we all hope for the best. So finally, the big news has come. IPL is back. Everyone was waiting for this news for the last four or five months. And each and every cricket fan, not just in India, worldwide, because we all know IPL is the best leagues among all the leagues. So what do you sir, make up of sir, like IPL happening in UAE? Is it, uh, do you think it's going to be a big change for players or the conditions and everything will be pretty similar? And do you think it's a good thing to have IPL at this time, just before the tour of Australia? Yeah, more importantly, I thought, you know, IPL taking place in itself is a big thing. Because uh, if you see Indian cricket over the last few years, uh, it's really blossomed. It's really, uh, you know, there's so many youngsters coming on. And uh, the way they're handling pressure, I think one of the big factors is because they've played IPL, they know how to absorb that pressure uh, pretty well. And uh, because they're rubbing shoulders with the international players as well, very often, you know, in the dressing room, uh, in the field as well. So, I think, you know, IPL has made a big difference overall. And that's the reason I feel, you know, just before the Australian tour, uh, even uh, the selectors uh, can know which are the players in form. Of course, you have, you know, players who are already, uh, who already picked themselves up. People like uh, Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli, you know, they're, they're yeah. Kumbra. They're all experienced campaigners. But overall, I feel the big thing now for the Australian tour is going to be that we have that fast bowling resources. You know, along with quality spinners, India has those fast bowling resources. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a very obvious thing that to win a test match, you need 20 wickets. And I think this Indian attack, whoever goes there, Mohamed Shami, the way he's been bowling, along with Bumrah, Ishant in the, in the test matches, all of them have been fantastic. So, I feel, you know, the best thing for Indian cricket is you have the batting resources. And along with that, now you have the bowlers, especially the faster bowlers, who can pick up those wickets. Yeah, you are absolutely right. I think without bowlers, you can't win matches abroad, especially in Australia, where it's like good batting tracks. Most of the most of the wickets in Australia are pretty good batting tracks. And what do you make up of the T20 World Cup being postponed? Do you think some people are saying that, you know, this World Cup will happen next year in India or Australia or whatever? That's not in our hands. But do you think? The World Cup happening next year, people are going to miss Mahinda Singh Dhoni, maybe? Like, do you think Dhoni yeah, playing another World Cup? You never know. I, I, I think, you know, his performance, the, the kind of player he has been, you know, uh, it's all about his fitness. I always feel, you know, age should, is just a number. Uh, your fitness, yeah. if, if you've got that form with you, uh, you know, and of course, uh, then he knows uh, pretty well uh, that uh, uh, will his body allow him uh, to, uh, you know, last that long. Because World Cup, you know, especially a T20 World Cup, uh, you have to, you know, it's not easy for any player. And, uh, you know, I think personally, uh, Dhoni will take a call. And if he does well in the IPL, I'm sure that the selectors will be having an eye on him. Because, you know, he, he's a complete package. It's just not about his uh, wicket-keeping, his batting. Uh, you know, the kind of uh, tips or the valuable tips he gives to the captain, to the bowlers. I, I think he's a full package. So, I wouldn't be surprised, uh, you know, if uh, his body allows, he's, if he's uh, fit and he himself personally wants to play the World Cup, I wouldn't be surprised about his inclusion. But again, it all depends on the kind of form he has been in the IPL. I think IPL will be a big, big thing for him personally. And I think he, just his presence in the dressing room, any dressing room, makes a lot of difference. Absolutely, because, you know, what he does is he not only, you know, guides the youngsters, he knows exactly, he's gone through the situations numerous times. We have seen on the field as well, you know, helping Virat Kohli. And, you know, small things make big differences. 
you know small things small, small tactical changes on the field you know which bowler to bowl uh, against a particular batsman you know your, the mindset of that batsman what he is playing well because behind the stumps when you're standing there you know exactly what, what's panning out you know the setting of the fielders as well small things make big difference in cricket and i think yeah as i mentioned you know dhoni has been you know a a, a great servant of indian cricket you know the way he has yeah. performed over the years now i think personally he has to take a call but firstly i think the form of uh, dhoni in the ipl is going to be very yeah. crucial and if he does well there i'm i'm sure that selectors uh, you know will have an eye on him for the world cup as well i think i personally feel he will be looking forward as well because you know he's playing after such a long time he doesn't have anything to prove to anyone but i think he will enjoy himself and i'm sure if he's fit everything is good we might see dhoni again in india colors and lastly ajay ji what do you think of the timing of the ipl do you think the september to november window is the right time or are you happy with the timing yeah i think you know i am happy that ipl is taking place honestly okay. because uh, you know i've been covering domestic cricket uh, uh, for a few years now and uh, the kind of talent i see and you know the talent in the domestic cricket has really uh, been fantastic over the years you know the way the youngsters are performing and i think ipl has been you know a big thing for the youngsters every player not only the youngsters every international player if you ask them they want to participate in the ipl so i think ipl taking place in itself uh is i'm very happy about it uh and i think you also got to understand that the australian tour was on so they had to create a window because now of course as you mentioned the world t20 is being postponed so they had to create a window before that tour and i think that's the only window you can create and of course you know in india still uh, there is that uh, uh, you know a lot of covid cases coming up so uh, yeah. in, in uae the, the good thing is you have that abu dhabi ground you have the sharja uh, stadium and of course uh, then the the base stadium so those three grounds are not very far off so i think uh, you know that's the reason probably ipl has gone there but i'm very happy for the players and uh, you know ipl is such a big brand now it's such a big platform for all the international cricketers is uh, you know seen by millions and millions of uh, viewers all over the world so just taking place uh, the ipl i think that's uh, a very good factor and i think just to conclude i think it's uh, as you said it's pretty good that at least cricket is back and good for indian players as well that they will play some competitive cricket just before going over to australia if ipl was not happening you never know with things in india if we, uh, we will be having domestic cricket at the right time or not maybe a bit later in the season yeah, so I, I, think, i think domestic cricket will thing. also happen i am very sure because bcci you know um, as saurav has always mentioned uh the bcci president that uh, you know his uh, main focus is always domestic cricket and i'm very sure after the ipl uh, because of course you know the indian team will be going uh, to australia but those players who are available will be participating in the domestic cricket so domestic cricket might have just happen after the ipl and uh, yes you might have you know bit of changes in the formats but i'm sure that domestic cricket will take place and you think with the domestic cricket as well as the ipl it's going to be empty stadiums like biosecure bubble the way they're doing in england right now yeah i think it all depends uh, on the situation you know we just hope that uh, uh, you know firstly i'm yeah. also hoping that the vaccine comes up, up uh, very quickly yeah. and you know things improve or otherwise the cases do go down so you never know you know uh, this can change sure. very very quickly the situation is still you know a long time away uh, still a couple of months to go so we just uh, have our fingers crossed and just hope that things improve and again we have you know people coming into the stadium but you know in case situation doesn't improve then i think cricket must go on as i say the show must go on and you might be you know seeing a few matches being played uh, with empty, empty stadiums as well absolutely uh let's hope we have the final schedule for IPL like all the matches and stuff and everything goes as planned and then the all important australia tour thank you very much ajay ji for joining us thank you everyone for watching and please subscribe to our channel and keep supporting us thank you